Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Welcome back to Musically Sound, the music review show. Today's episode, Trapeze, Medusa. I was first introduced to Trapeze uh, towards the end of my college years uh, by Hit Parader magazine. They put out these Encyclopedia of Heavy Metal Volume 1. Uh, volume 2 uh, focused on the stars, as it were, of certain bands. Um, but this this magazine, this issue, focused on bands themselves. Uh, over 300 bands and 150 photos from Hit Parader archives. Uh, much like a lot of the early 70s rock that I was introduced to, it came from this book. And... Uh, a couple other um, reference books, we'll say. But Trapeze, uh, kind of a, a, not a forgotten band, but a, an unnoticed band. Uh, very good in their own right. Uh, before I get into the album, a little history on Trapeze. We're formed in... Cannock, uh, Staffordshire, in 1969. And the band originally featured the Montana's members John Jones on trumpet and vocals and Terry Rowley on keyboards and former Finders Keepers members Glenn Hughes on bass, Mel Galley on guitar, and Dave Holland on drums. Uh, Jones and Rowley would leave after the first album in 1970, uh, dropping trapeze down to a power trio and taking with them the uh, more folky elements of the band uh, the first album uh, self-titled album is is very good in its own right and i recommend checking that out as well uh, but medusa uh, is definitely a good starting point uh, if you want to check this band out, uh, this album was released in November of 1970 on Threshold, and as I said, featured uh, Glenn Hughes, Mel Galley, and Dave Holland. Uh, Dave Holland would go on to become the drummer of Judas Priest uh, during uh, much of their uh, early 80s uh, period uh, before being replaced by Scott Travis. Mel Galley would go on uh, to be in White Snake, uh, which is kind of a common ground with Glenn Hughes, who was in Deep Purple with David Coverdale. Uh, Glenn Hughes would leave... Uh, trapeze in 1973 to join uh, Deep Purple and at that point it would become the effective end of Trapeze. Now they would re release a couple more albums after he his departure um, but they would not hold up to uh, the uh, the potency of that trio. Um, classic lineup of Galley, Galley, Hughes, and Holland. Uh, Tr Medusa uh, starts off with Black Cloud, just a, a, a raucous, heavy, early 70s uh, song about bad luck, basically. Um, they would follow this up with Jury. Uh, now these are uh, are rather long uh, tracks and they were not friendly to AM radio. Uh, so airplay back in the day uh, may not have been what it should have been. But Jury uh, is, is basically what, what the title uh, says. It's about... Uh, Jury stands in judgment. Uh, it's it's criminal uh, elements. 
this is followed up by your love is all right just a, a great ode to uh, relationships <clears throat> excuse me and touch of life and seafull are great tracks uh seafull is very melodic uh, the change ups are are really really cool in this track they follow Seafool up with Makes You Want to Cry. And then finally end it with the title track, Medusa. Just a heavy, heavy song that talks, well, Medusa. Um, but lyrically, this, this album is very good. Uh, even despite the seven, only having seven tracks, the... The contents of this is it stand it it holds up uh, definitely. Uh, I recommend I I wouldn't be reviewing these if I didn't recommend them, but I recommend this definitely. Easily top ten album for me. Uh, it's probably the front runner in a lot of the early seventies rock that I listened to. Now, Wikipedia says Wikipedia says uh, critical reception for Medusa was generally positive. A review published in on All Music awarded the album four and a half stars, which is exactly what I give it. I, I'm, I may be as uh, courageous to say five out of five. <clears throat> Excuse me. But with without a doubt, this is definitely an album that I would re recommend to anybody looking to expand uh, their interests as far as early seventies rock. Uh, looking at music from uh, band members who were in other bands such as these three gentlemen uh, Glenn Hughes uh, I also recommend their third album uh, You Are The Music We're Just The Band because that, that album is all about the fans uh, it's, it's without a doubt a, a fan driven album so that's it for this episode uh Feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me why in the comments. Definitely check this album out. Get out there and listen to some music.